The body may die, but never the soul, which is merely passed on. Souls flow onward, born and reborn, forever part of the great ether stream. Why friends make grave here? Can we not take Biggie Pond home to village? He'd want to be buried where he fell. It is traditional amongst mercenaries. I'm so sorry, Fanta. If only I hadn't listened to those people, you'd still be... I'm sorry. It's not your fault. No matter what, those guys would have tracked us down eventually. What matters is that Vanden saved all our lives. For now, let's just be grateful to him for that. <laughs> You're right. I won't forget your words, Vanden, ever. I'll fight my own war with Pyra. Pyra? Are you all right? Yes. Good. I was worried that you might not. Wake up. Pyra, you know I've got to ask. That thing that happened yesterday, you called yourself Mithra? What? I... I am... Um... I'd like to hear that too. That power, it wasn't normal. Is that the true power of the Aegis? I think you owe us an explanation. It was pretty crazy. Tora want to know too. Pyra was super strong. Why so strong, huh? Now, now, don't pressure the girl. Well, uh, the thing is, I mean, Pyra? Why? Huh? Why did you wake me up? Huh? What? I didn't want to wake up. I didn't want to come back. I left everything to her so I'd never have to use that power again. But then you woke me up. W woke you up? If you hadn't been so useless, none of this would have happened. I wouldn't have had to use this power. Didn't you listen to that Van Damme guy? He told you to hold back. He told you to run. But you just had to push yourself, idiot. Look where it's got us now. You. You really messed up. You don't have to tell me that. I know, all right. I knew I was being an idiot. Rex. But I just... I couldn't hand you over to them. I wanted to keep you safe. Uh, what? Uh, at any rate, if you've got questions, you can ask her. I'm out of here. Bye. Uh, that's not fair. Everyone, I'm very sorry about all that.
Malos and I are Aegises. Blades born with a terrible power, strong enough to destroy the world. Malos is another Aegis. Long ago, there was a man who climbed the world tree, hoping to make it to Elysium and meet his creator. But when he arrived at Elysium, he found it empty. So instead, as proof that he had reached that divine realm, he brought back two core crystals, Malos and me. And once he made it back to Alrest, he awakened Malos. Why he did it, I can't say. For greed, for power, or perhaps... When Malos awakened, he wielded his world-shaking power without restraint. To him, it was natural. He had never known anything else. I was awakened by a driver who was determined to stop Malos's rampage. So Malos and I fought. I fought with all my might and succeeded in defeating Malos. But not without a price. Three great titans fell in the struggle. After the battle, I sealed myself away to ensure that power would never be unleashed again. I took the form you see now and fell into a long slumber. That was 500 years ago. The Aegis War. The man who awakened Mithra was Adam, hero of the lost kingdom of Tornath. Adam fought as Mithra's driver to protect the world from Malos. We Titans played our part in that battle, too. It is our calling to live alongside humanity, after all. Gramps? Adam hid Pyra's sleeping body inside a great ship and sunk her to the Cloud Sea's floor where none could abuse her power. So that day, that's the ship that we... That's how Pyra and I... I believe it was fate that we met each other. Otherwise, my sister would never have woken up. You call her your sister? Mithra and I used to talk together in that dream of Elysium where you met me. We promised that when we were awakened again, We'd go home to the real Elysium. And then, we would fulfill our real purpose. And that's... defeating Malos again. I'm very sorry about Mithra. She didn't mean all that. You have to understand, she came out because she wanted to protect you. She broke her own seal for you. Even used her power as the Aegis. The flame powers I use are just a shadow of her strength. Droplets of excess energy trickling through the seal. Don't worry about it. She was right. This was all my fault. I'm just glad... Hmm? ...that you finally managed to open up a little. Also, thank you for protecting everyone, I mean. Protecting? Me? Your powers are incredible. 
I could feel the truth behind the legends. I'm sorry. I... You apologize a lot. You know that. I guess you still feel guilty about the Aegis's power, right? But I don't want you to have to apologize anymore. I hope I can help you move past that. No. I know I can. Rex, I... Power depends on the heart of its wielder. That's what Vandam said. That's why your power is the power to protect. The power to keep everyone safe and smiling. I want to do the same. I'm going to be the kind of driver who can protect you in turn. I promise. Make a girl cry, that's not going to fly. Make a girl smile, you pass the trial. That's the third rule of the salvager code. Yeah? Rex, Rex! Can you help Tora with repairing of Puppy, please? Okay, I'll be right there. Oh, yeah. What's for dinner tonight? How does meatball pot au feu sound? Delicious. Mmm, I can't wait. That sly Rex never loses his smile, and that's what keeps us all going. Reminds you of Adam, don't you think? What's this? Take it, and go to Indol. That dagger's owner will tell you how you can get to Elysium. This is a blade weapon, right? Who's its owner? The man who was once my driver. Your driver? Huh? But then... Coal is a blade. We fought together in the Aegis War. Yes. His real name is Minoth. Blades not get old, though. Why Cole looks so old? Because I'm one of the cursed ones. A flesh eater. <laughs> A flesh eater? A blade who has been fused with human cells. A long time ago... Before the war, some sought to test the limits of Blade's potential. I am a product of their experiments, one of the unlucky ones who was tainted by their folly. Why would ancient people do that? It seems that by combining Blade and human, it is sometimes possible to create Blades with extremely unique powers. But only very rarely. Most experiments were failures. And I was no different. <sighs> I gained nothing at all. And lost my immortality to boot. I likely won't last much longer. Grandpa? Before I go... I want to see where your path ends. That dagger will aid you. Will you do this for me? Of course. Oh, but can I ask you to do something too? Namely? I was wondering... if you could write a play... about Vandam. About Vandam? Yeah. I think... His story could inspire a lot of people. Once I find Elysium, I'll come see you again. Show it to me then? An interesting notion. Perhaps that is the least I can do. Very well. I'll do it. So see you make it back here in one piece. Understand? Absolutely. 
You have my word. Now, to get to Indol, we'll need to... Rex. Zuo. Listen, um, don't worry about us, just carry on your own journey. It is what I'd like to say, but could you come back to Garfond and speak to you for a moment first? There's something we need to talk about. Something the boss left behind. Something from Vandam. We'll give you the details once you get back to Garfond. Don't keep us waiting, yeah? Well, Vandom's last wish. Oh my god. You got me as well. <laughs> oh my god. I like it now have three blades on, which is awesome. Right, um. Where I wanna go. Nobody knows. Do we? Yeah. Yep. We're here. No, I wanna go so, higher. Shall we? The head. What's oh, the room? So that's where I wanna go. We're here. Wait. So, shall we? My man, what's the point? Is something wrong? I always see unfamiliar object right over there. Do you think that's the mysterious light you all mentioned? It wasn't there before, that's for sure. If I imagine I'd have remembered. But what is it? Tara's senses are tingling. If you're so curious, Tara, why don't you go and check it out? Meme? No, Tara believes this search is better part of Valor. Curiosity kills more Napon than Aligo. Maybe Rex Rex check. Me again? Ugh. Thought I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious myself. Just like with salvaging, if you don't take chances, you'll never make it to the good stuff. Right on, Rex. <laughs> Go do your thing on it. Just please don't do anything reckless. Oh my god, I really want to win. I don't want to win. I don't want to win. I wanna go in. I wanna just get these gardens off. Two seconds. And maybe it's all away. But then again, that could be something I can do. What have we here? In the background, there is. Yes. Maybe, 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 maybe. I'm just one. The gathering spots that I know I'll need, I'm just starting to kind of like gather some. While I'm here, while I'm there. Come out, come out. There, there I want. Okay, it's fine. It is fine. Van Damme, no. All right, let's go in. Regretting it already. I picked it. Whoa. What 
is this place? Very strange and mysterious is what? This may not even be all rest. Well, we'd better be on our guard. What? <laughs> <sighs> Where are we? This place? Shulk, maybe we should turn back. We don't even have our weapons. Hmm. Huh? <gasps> the Monado. And my weapons too. I don't know what's going on, but I feel a little safer now. Hmm. It's not the Bionis. But it's not the Maconis either. We're in unknown territory, for sure. Hey, Shulk. Someone's over there. Huh? Should we talk to them? Master Plan, humanoid life forms. Their clothing style looks funny. What should we do? They look friendly enough. Hmm. But it's just so strange running into people in a place like this. Uh, I'm not sure how to handle this. Looks like we've got a problem. It's good to help each other out. Tell us what's wrong. Huh? Oh, I, um... We popped up in this weird place. That's what's wrong. There is something strange about it, for sure. Hey, Shulk. Looks like we're in the same boat. Yeah, you're right. We all came here unwillingly. I guess we are in the same predicament. So you don't know what's going on either? Hmm, that's right. I've no idea where this is, or why we're here. Hmm... We're all clueless, then. Well... Why don't we team up? We can check this place out together. Sounds good. Actually, I was about to say that myself. My name's Rex. And I'm Pyra. Call me Mia. Old Fairbag here is Dromak. Dora is Dora! Please call Poppy Poppy. <laughs> You're a lively bunch. I'm Shulk. And I'm Fiora. Good to meet you. Ah, likewise. <laughs> awesome. I have this great feeling that everything's gonna work out fine. Wow, your world sounds way different from all rest, Shulk. I can't even imagine. But they also have a fair number of things in common. It's so curious. In any case, now that we know what, uh, what we can start exploring this place in air. Hmm, not that there's much to see here. Shulk, Fiora, have you guys been here before? No, never. Fiora and I were just walking when suddenly we saw this odd light it turned out to be a pole. And Shulk being Shulk, he just had to stick his nose in and see what it was all about. Yeah, sorry about that. Fate of Poppy and friends was similar. Tara also think like Shulk, not care if curiosity killed Napon, cannot stop self from touching things. But it was Rex Rex who activate portal, not Masterpon. Uh, fact is irrelevant. The portal you can do is over there somewhere. Yeah, you can do a different one then. That's right, it's just over there. I can't see anything. Same here. I suspected as much. Each of us can only see the portal that we ourselves pass through. 
We can't travel to your world, Rex, and you can't travel to ours. Um, so we can only meet here. It seems that way. It's decided then. We spend nice time chatting here. Oh, shall I prepare some snacks? Oh, yes, please, pirate. I'd love a bite. That's not such a good idea. Who is there? That voice came from above. Over here. Hmm, when did he... It is no big deal. Not for Napon Arxage. Who are you? Napon Arxage is great Napon who, through endless training in many times and places, become sagest of sages. Even though Arxage, you look even more a little pon than Tara. Such rude pon. Despite appearance, Napon Arxage is a hundred million times age of Tara. A hundred million? I'm not buying it. Friends, believe or not, it not matter, but truth is truth, and truth is that Nopon's Arxage make this place. You made this place? Indeedy. But whatever fall? To pause and witness overcoming of combat challenges of unmanageability, or of unimaginable and frankly unbelievable difficulty, you know, say the crap words, Rebecca. So you want to test our strength? Strange hobby for a Nopon to have. Yeah, that doesn't sound very pleasant at all. Meh, that very upsetting to hear. As long as we can, as as long as can get reward, Tara have no problem with challenging challenge. But of course, if friends can overcome challenges, nap on our sages will fork over treats. Come common quasi say that word. Say that word for me. Yeah. Commensurate with results. Ooh, ooh, Kantara win rare tropical edition of tasty sausage. That was actually not very tasty, so Napan Axage liquidate stock. <gasps> Meh, Tara come up with thing on spare of moment is really real product. May not have the particular item, but still may have other rare items to give. Tara wanna have a go. I'm a bit curious myself, Rex. Don't you think we should try it? I'm with you, Nia, and I love a good challenge. Shulk, Fiara, what do you think? If I was, if it was Ryan, he'd probably say, "No way," but uh, I'm in. You can't really get to know someone without having a few skirmishes together, right? If you're feeling it, I'm in too. It's really feeling it. Oh my god, super duper. But the way you guys fight is different from how we do in our world. Why don't we take on a support role? Good point. It looks like we can summon our weapons at will. I guess that would make us like your blades world. Our world's blades. Wow, that's got to be nice skill to have. Going into battle with Fiora sounds like it'd be a trip. Look forward to it. Well then, when friends feel ready, please give Napon Arxage shout. Then challenge battle can begin. Okay. Oh, there it is. Where do you want to? They now engage Shulk and Fiora's blade. To start, Shulk is engaged on Rex and Fiora on Nia. But from now on, you'll be able to engage them to any driver except Tara without having to use or oh, right, fuck off. To do so, simply engage. Now we know this. You won't be able to take them with you when you leave the land of challenge. When you travel through the portal to return to our rest, Shulk and Fiora will be removed from the party. So be sure to factor that in when planning the journey. Remit has it that among the various rewards that the Nopon Axage gives out for his challenge battles is an item that will let Shulk and Fiora enter all rest. If that sounds good to you, then by all means, be sure to tackle those challenges as they come up. <sighs> what do you want? What do you want? He's an exchange guy. Mehehe, who was Napon you see before you? Very good of friends to ask. Orderly of Napon Arxage is me. Very personal identity, very important role. In short, me have a look heavy articles of Napon Arxage is around, sometimes for long periods on end. Now, me have something very important to tell friends, so listen closely. Must be kept secretly hush hush. Truth is, me have great passion for Napon Stone. It has muddy, dim, faintly disturbing light. In fact, shares many attributes with Napon Arxage himself. But let me get straight to the point. A friend's purchase upon Napon Stone can do willy sneaky exchanges for Arxage's treasure stashes. He has so many already, he not notice if one or fifty go missing. Anyway, that all me wanted to say. Hope to be doing business soon. Trade stuff. 
So, so let's see what we've got. We haven't got enough on stone yet. So, a prototype Rex suit, Candy Stripe Nia suit, Disguise, Copy Skills. Oh my god, mermaid blue pandaria. Okay, spoilers. 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 Friends best show what friends capable of. Level restriction, level there. Five layers, time limit on. Yeah, I'm not doing this yet, guys. <laughs> no! Do the part where we go! Let us go! Woo! Return. We need to go back to our rest now. Understood. It doesn't look like we can go with you, so we'll just wait for you here. Take care of yourself, Rex. Sure thing. We'll be back soon enough, I'm sure. Keep yourself occupied, yeah? Well, do Rex, get back safe. And Rex is like, yeah, I'm out of here. Spock. Woo. 